Hello everybody and welcome to Tech TV. I've just got cow 79 into the crush and she's got a pretty mangled up and split open dew claw. Stay tuned to see how we fix it. When we lifted up cow 79's foot, it was clear she had a pretty mangled up dew claw. And yes, it was pretty badly infected as well. This cow really needs us to treat this, to bring her back to a place of comfort. <laughs> So let's leave this mangled up dew claw just for two seconds until I get this cow's hoofs, this cow's hoof into shape with a nice routine trim hopefully. Mm -hmm. Then we'll deal with what's going on up above the hooves. We start every trim process to achieve the best balance we can for each individual hoof on the cow. As a hoof trimmer, we're full time reading the situation and the environment the cow lives in to trim her appropriately to achieve this balance. With feet infected with digi like this, there tends to be higher heels as a result of distorted hoof that has grew pretty quickly, as a result of the dermatitis. It sometimes can be harder to achieve balance on these types of hooves, and we have to go back and tweak our levels to make sure that they are as good as they can be. So that's our walking surface dealt with, that's nice and 50-50 balance there. I'm gonna start looking up around this lesion of dermatitis hopefully it's just on the heel heel area here and it hasn't travelled down below here I don't think it has it's all okay there she has some wee bit of loose horn loose skin there get rid of that which will be a benefit to healing as well as cleaning it out We have this here, mangled up dew claws I've described it as, it's almost as if it's almost like split open. Um, don't know why it sort of grew like that, probably the digi has got in and distorted everything in there. So I'll nip a few wee bits off with the nipper, the nippers, and then see how we're going from there. I think this is comfortable as we can for you. this dew claw tidied up here cleaned out and we're just going to dab it dab it dry now before we put our topical treatment of salicylic acid on both these areas right here and this dew claw is not the only thing it's split open I have a little glove I miss must go and look for a new one after I let this cow out of the crush and just feel another little bit of a loose horn, loose horn in there Well, at least I think it's perfect anyway. I'm sure there's somebody who'll comment and say, oh, you didn't do this, or oh, you didn't do that. Mm. That spray that I put on has started to send the digital dermatitis to knock it backwards already. It's already dried that out nicely, so. Uh, got myself a bandage here.
and get her and get her wrapped up. For all you fitness fanatics out there, I started putting my salicylic acid in my protein shaker. It's really easy to fill because it's nice and wide, and then it comes out of it, flows out of it nicely too. When I go to the gym, I just better not get the two of them mixed up. It's my only concern that I have with the whole thing. I'll wrap that wee bit up first. Turn back around again. Make sure all that area is nicely covered. Up above the dew claws. And through the hoof to stop it slipping up the way up the leg. And then we'll tuck it in up here. I'm pretty happy with that and I'm pretty certain that she will find great comfort. Now it's time to get replace my glove which I've got a bit of a ward you know the way you have a wardrobe malfunction like what Tom would have well I have a toolbox slash workwear malfunction because I've got no no black gloves left. Take care folks. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.